Hey everyone, Rayon here from Barbecue and Brews, uh, live at Meatstock Melbourne again with Tony from Barbecue Plus, here to talk about uh, probably my most favoriteely coloured barbecue, the uh, the Yoda Smoker, uh, which is an absolute beast. Uh, thanks for coming on. No worries. Thank you. Yes, yeah, my, my name's Tony from Barbecues Plus. Uh, we've been uh, bringing in uh, Yodas for about five or six years now. Um, we assemble and test and deliver out to all over Victoria. Um, the pellet grill, it's the king of pellet grills, Yoda, yeah. and yeah. Uh, made in the US, and so really, really heavy construction. Yeah. So, um, and that thermal mass that you see yeah. that comes with a Yoda is all important with smokers because um, it delivers more constant temperatures, you get better fuel efficiencies yeah. and stuff like that. And it's the brightest coloured one, of course. <laughs> it's not, I, pick, I pick my cars and where I pick my barbecues. <laughs> yeah, right. What's the, oh, that's a great colour. That's a great colour. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, the efficiencies, let's talk about that. So yeah. you, obviously pellet smoking can get expensive, especially on a windy day or a cold day. Yeah. With this amount of thermal mass and things like that. Yeah. What, what are we looking at from a usage okay, point so, of view? Okay, so yesterday and today, uh, between 24, 28 degrees, a little bit windier today, but not much wind yesterday. Yeah. We were burning through about half a bag in nine hours. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. So on a good day like that, we'd expect between 16 and 18 hours per bag of fuel. Yep. But it's a bit like driving your car. Yeah. Like the harder you go. So that's for like low and slow temperatures. Like yeah. We're doing 250 Fahrenheit or 107, something yeah. like that. Yeah. If you want to drive it a bit harder and you're going, say, I'll do something a bit hotter and faster, say 300, 320, something like that, you're going to use more fuel. Yeah. And if the day is cold and wet, like a typical Melbourne winter's day, yeah. and it's a bit windy, you're going to use more fuel because the unit needs to maintain heat better. Yeah. So um, it's a bit like driving a car, or if you're going to grill in it. So you can grill and bake and roast and low and slow in these. Yeah. So if you're going to be grilling steaks, then you're going to be running at five or 600 degrees Fahrenheit, then you're going to be churning through a lot more fuel yeah. than you are if you are running at 250, for yeah. example. No, absolutely. And I think it's. I think that's the bit that people sort of forget. Like, you know, yeah. you can't take the base or the averages and go like, oh, I'm running at 320 constantly. Exactly. Well, yeah, you are going to use more fuel. Yeah. Uh, from a, you know, it's like, I mean, now Yodas are at a higher cost point for Australia. I mean, yeah. it is made in the US that all automatically adds, adds value and, and yeah. quality to it. Uh, but you know why? Why would you choose? Like, tell me why I should use the Yoda uh, over a couple other ones in the market. Right. So yes, they are more expensive, yeah. but they are made in the US. Yeah. They have um, a great Wi-Fi controller that works through the app. So tick, tick. <laughs> I can do everything on the unit except turn it on. Yeah, right. right. So I don't want to be out of playing the app at work and all of a sudden I've turned my smoker on, you know, but I can yep. turn it off yep. and I can adjust the temperatures and it will also um, store all my cooks in the cloud. Yeah, right. right. So I can go back to a cook from two years ago and say, right, I'm, oh, I found that lovely brisket, that particular brand of brisket yeah. or something again. I want to cook it exactly the same way because it was so fantastic. So I'll go, right, I can go back and I can look at that whole graph yeah. I can take photos and add photos to the graph, right. right? And so I can go back to it. I can even make a link from that file whilst the unit's cooking, send it to you and say, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh, wow. Um, don't be late. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so it records all that stuff. You can create a drive program in it. So you can say, I want it to cook at this temperature for so long and then this temperature. Yeah. Then I want it to get to here. And when the meat gets to an internal temperature of what I want, I wanted to move it into hold mode and just hold it until I get home yeah, from work. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And obviously meat probes and everything, like does it, it do probes? It comes standard with two meat probes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they just go plug in here in the front. Yep. Uh, go through a little trap door in the side here. Yeah. Yep. Um, come standard with a second shelf, so you've got big capacity. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, this, they're great. No, it's fantastic. And I mean, from a maintenance point of view, uh, is this grill grates? Yeah, they're no, grill grates. Oh, shit. Awesome. So when we're high temp grilling, yeah. we use grill grates in here. Yeah. They're an option, yeah. but they, they, they work so well because um, when, we want a, when we want a high temp grill, we take out this little trap door in the heat management plate. Yeah. And that opens up to so the, the fire's directly under here. Yeah. 
and at high temperatures you'll get flames slightly, you know, small flames licking through the grill grates. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And the grill grates by their own nature with the T head get very hot, they're perfect for searing. Yeah, yeah. This area up here, so reverse searing, really easy in a Yoda yeah. because you do all that up here and, hop it down there. and then you're down there yeah. at the end and it's just a beautiful, oh, beautiful excellent, cooks. Excellent. And uh, warranties, like, I mean, obviously everything's about warranties and support. What's, yeah, three years that? here in Australia, domestic use, yep. six months, uh, three months here in uh, commercial use. Right, okay. We sell a fair few of them commercially. Yeah, I've seen a quite a few. I've done yeah, yeah. in Healesville, and there's one guy in Geelong as well. That's yeah, using it. and um, Ben Shuri over at Attica runs a 1500. Oof, okay. And cool. uh, we look after that for him. So, yeah, it's, he uses it a lot. Yeah. So, no, yeah. Any special deals for uh, at Meatstock? There is a bit of a special deal for Meatstock. If anyone orders between now and um, the 3rd of April, which yep. is next Sunday, yep. there's a knife roll, uh, Yoda Smokers knife roll with five uh, Hammerstahl knives in it. That's worth five ninety five. There's some heat proof gloves. They're worth another eighty. Cool. Uh, some caps and an instant read flip out thermometer. Which I reckon is highly required. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, every every backyard chef should have one. Uh, one of those. Yeah. yeah. But My girlfriend the... loves it. I see her home. Door. She's testing the post cheeks. I'm like, what? <laughs> I do the sausages for the kids. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's done. Yeah. Right. There's only burn them all. You let them go and go and go. Yeah. And then it turns into like you know nothing. But yeah. So it's yeah. they're fantastic. I get it. Um, but yeah, look, that's cool. So Tony from. Yeah. Uh, I Plus. Plus, uh, here with the Yoda Smokers. Thanks for the intro. No problem, thank um, you. And I think I'll put this on my wish list for sure. No worries, come see me when you're ready. <laughs> thank you so much. No worries. Thanks everyone. Thank yeah. you.